Hi, welcome to the smart home journey. For the last couple of years, I've been building a smart home, mainly around automating my lights. During this time, smart home tech has also evolved to the point that some things that used to be very complicated are now so very easy. This will be a less than 10 minute guide on how to set up WLED with Home Assistant, because that's how fast the process was for me. So let's get started. First of all though, what is WLED? It's a free and open source software library for microcontrollers that allows you to control digital LED strips. These LED strips, sometimes called new pixels or individually addressable LEDs, are different from the normal old ones you might know. Where for those you can only set one color for the whole strip, for the digital ones you can actually change the color for each LED individually. That's more control and can even be used for something great like animations. And WLED just makes using all of that so very easy. I have in the past added some LEDs to the inside of my wardrobe that will automatically be switched on when you open the sliding door and of course also be switched off again after you close it. To do that I have added some Akara door sensors to the top of the wardrobe that send a signal via Zigbee to my Home Assistant setup when I open or close the door. Home Assistant is the also free and open source control software that I use for my smart home. More information about Home Assistant and of course this whole project in the links down below. Finally of course this needs some lights and a controller. I am using the WS2812B addressable lights here and they are controlled by a D1 mini microcontroller that I put in a 3D printed enclosure. It is very easy to flash WLED on this board via the included micro USB port and it's even powerful enough to run this short LED strip directly from its onward power. Recently I ran into some trouble upgrading the software on this microcontroller though. I guess it's most likely my fault, but I decided to just get some newer boards and was very surprised how easy the installation process has become. Let me quickly talk you through this. So first of all you simply start by connecting the board to your PC via a micro USB cable. Next you open the browser, Chrome or Edge should work, and then you go to this WLED web installer page. Select the version of WLED that you want to install. Usually it's just the newest one, which is selected by default, and click install. Now a new dialog opens where you just have to select the port your controller is connected to. In this case, I have already flashed this port before, so I can choose to reset the data here. But either way, afterwards you just have to click install and wait for a moment. Once the installation process is done, you can click Next and enter the Wi-Fi credentials for the network that your controller should be connecting to. Of course, this should be a network that Home Assistant can also access. I personally have a separate network for IoT devices that I'm using here. Then after a couple more seconds, the setup is done. That's it. Now you can click on the link to get directly to the web interface of your new device and try out the controls. Here you can also check again which version of WLED was installed. Now the last step is to add your new device to Home Assistant and that is just incredibly easy. Switch to your Home Assistant dashboard, go to the integrations page and your device should already be auto detected. Otherwise just click the big button and add a new integration and choose WLED. Then click on configure, submit and select the room that your device is in. That's it. You now have a new device in Home Assistant that controls your LEDs. And the best part, if at some point there is a newer version of the WLED firmware available, then Home Assistant will automatically remind you. There will be a notification in the settings menu, like here. Just click on it, select install and wait a couple of seconds. Boom, done. You now have the newest version. I really love how easy this whole process has become over time. If you are interested in more quick guides and interesting projects, make sure to follow this channel and read my blog over at thesmarthomejourney.com. Until then, good luck on your own journey to a smarter home.